Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of uh, toy photography videos here at Hangar Bay 23. I'm Keith and I'm really excited about what we're going to be doing today. Um, so up to now we've been doing pretty much action figure stuff. Um, we did the DeLorean from Back to the Future, has found that one. That was uh, kind of an inspired photo shoot. Um, so I was looking over on my shelf and I found my characters from Disney's Planes Fire Rescue. Um, these, when they first came out, these were the first characters, or first figures, I guess, figures, vehicles, whatever, I don't know, um, that I bought specifically to do toy photography. Uh, so I've taken them, I've, I've shot a couple pictures with them, um, really like the way they turned out, um, but I realized the other day that I haven't shared any of that with y'all, so... Uh, today we're going to go, we're going to set up uh, the basic set that I use out back. Um, we'll add a little bit to that, making it my wildfire set that, that I use whenever I'm shooting these guys. Uh, so we'll get drip and we'll, we'll get uh, blackout here um, and avalanche and pinecone uh, all into the mix and, and we'll take some pictures. So for the wildfire set, it's very similar to my basic setup that I use whenever I'm out here shooting in the yard. The exception is um, we add a few tall trees um, simulated by these branches here to the background. This gives me a couple different options for framing uh, the figures, or in this case, um, our uh, wildland crew from Fire Rescue. And that just sets up a little bit more of the dynamic, uh, some foreground shots and stuff like that. So to get these guys in place, um, it's just real simple. It's an extra piece of two by two, again, painted in uh, darker colors for earth tones. It's got a couple of uh, screws on the bottom piece of the plywood. The branch just goes into place. And then it's screwed. Get that lined up. That one didn't line up. Then screwed into place um, here on the platform. So the last thing I want to do to get my shot set up before I put the figures in place, so I'm going to take a little bit of charcoal lighter fluid, just dribble on this one piece right back here. And that's going to be our practical effect for this shot. Okay, so I think my framing's good. Uh, I like the way everything's looking when I've got it squared up. So we will Put a lighter to this fluid right here and see what happens. So I added just a little bit more fluid and we'll get a couple more shots here. So we got some incredible pictures today, um, incredible photo shoot, I think I shot for about another 15 minutes or so after I did the last turn off of the camera there. I know the camera angle was off to the side a little bit from where I was shooting so uh, you saw the log and then the first application, the first little bit of the evaporation of the, um, the lighter fluid, then I put some lighter fluid back down a little bit, you saw the fire come back up and I shot some um, and then that burn off. I did that probably for 
about another 15 minutes or so of just reapplying the lighter fluid, uh, repositioning um, the, the figures around and making sure I had a bunch of quality shots of um, the, each of the figures in different poses and stuff like that. Um, nothing pretty much changed on it. Uh, it was, we're shooting in the golden hour, so my lighting was pretty much consistent. Didn't use any external lighting, anything like that. Everything we had was uh, ambient light from the day. Uh, so everything was, was just lit from uh, overhead lighting or sky lighting, uh, daytime light, and then the uh, backlight from the little bit of fire that we had burning there uh, off of the, uh, the lighter fluid in the log. Uh, one thing that you did notice or you might see in the pictures, uh, some of the pictures are from that, that head-on plane or that level plane at ground level. And then there's a couple that uh, you can tell from shooting at that elevated plane or elevated platform that I use where you can get down underneath and get that hero pose um, uh, of our, our firefighters there and then the, the fire and everything rolling up behind them and everything, stuff like that. I think that those pictures turned out really, really well. Um, so I, I'm really excited about what we put out today and really excited to share that with you here. Um, so if you liked what we did, um, please come back and look at our next video. Again, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look at, at our videos today. A ton, a ton of, ton of great content creators out there. So you stopping by and checking out what we did today really means a lot to me. So thank you very much for coming by, taking a look at it. Uh, Smokey's on for uh, the the shoot today uh, specifically. So remember, everybody, only you can prevent wildfires. If we're going to do something like uh, we did today. Uh, be very careful and uh, very responsible with what you're doing. So thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, see you in the next one. Go out, be safe, and uh, happy shooting.